All right, so hey, I'm here with my uh, my this week's challenge for the YouTube Pokemon Battling Federation, and it's against Vi 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 V13. And uh, he leads with a jump bluff and goes for the sleep powder, but he missed, which was good for me. It's the first luck I've ever gotten in a long time. And I go for the T bolt to see how much that'll do. Now I know he's gonna sleep powder again, so I just go for, go to my Venusaur for the the fodder, and he turns out of there. And uh, by the way, starting now, I'm going to start bringing more serious, well-balanced UU teams to these Battling Federation challenges, because everyone seems to own me with their Registeel, as you'll see in this battle, because everyone carries a Registeel and underused, so yeah, I'm going to start being like, I'm going to make a well-balanced team, and it's not going to be as easy to win, so yeah. So yeah, he goes back into a jump left to resist the Leech Seed, and he encores me on that, so I have to use Leech Seed now. And, uh, yeah, so I have to switch out, obviously, and go into my Teddy Milk, as he's probably going to Sleep Powder, I think. Yeah, he goes for the Sleep Powder. And, yeah, my Teddy Milk's asleep, and, like, I'm so unlucky in this battle. Like, every time I was asleep, I got, I asleep for, like, four turns, I think. And then later on, you'll see, I get a lot unluckier. So I predict the U-turn going to my, uh, Miss Magius, takes it like a monster. He switches out and goes into Blaziken, which obviously is Scarf, because who would run... A not scarf bla blaziken, I guess. So yeah, I go into Teddy Milk. To, I know he's gonna overheat or flare blitz, which he does flare blitz, which is good for me. That doesn't do anything. So now I know he's gonna switch out because he's scarf, and that's well the only thing he could do to me. As yes, he goes into a Rotom, and uh, I'm still sleeping. Yay! And he goes for the T bolt just to see how much that'll do. And so I don't have that good of special defense and stuff, but it, uh, I live it and go for the T-Wave. And that was pretty good for me. I got to paralyze that Rotom. So now I think I'm going to milk drink here. No, I switch out. I go into my drug dealer to resist the T-Bolt. Obviously. And it works pretty well. Uh, it still does a lot. So yeah. Alright, so now he switches out, predicting the Toxic. Which was pretty good on his part. I predicted him to go into jump off, thinking I would lead seed, but he outsmarted me there. Now I predict him to go to jump off again, so I just go for the toxic one more time, and that doesn't work. I've been having failed predictions lately, and I go for the protect just to see what he's gonna do. He goes for the iron head, which is not good at all for me. Now I know he's gonna be one of those stupid flinching ones. So now he goes into blaziken. I go for the lead seed, and that thing is now seeded. And yeah, I get some HP while he loses some HP. So I switch out and go into Titty Milk, just for death fodder. And so I see what he's going to lock himself into, and it's Flare Blitz. And right here, uh, there was absolutely nothing I could do that would sp outspeed my whole team, and nothing I had could take it. So I have to pretty much protect stall him until he gets to enough HP where my Sucker Punch will kill him off. It's pretty much the only thing I could do. So yeah, Scarf Blade is getting screwed me up here. I get the flame orb and now I go for the second protect. I was like crossing my fingers hoping I would get it. And I do, which is really good. So now he's at about half HP. Because uh, the leech seed. And now I go for the sucker punch and that won't kill it. Which sucked for me. He goes for the flare blitz and takes out my eradicate. So yeah. That sucks. But it's a good thing he gets hit by the recoil and that doesn't kill him, which fails for me. So he switches out, and I predict the switch and go for the bulk up, which is good. And I'm gonna, no, never mind. I'm not gonna tell you guys because then you're gonna counter my team. All right. So um, if I had stealth rocks here, that would have helped me a lot. But I never carry stealth rocks because it's hella gay. So he goes for the trick and tricks me, and he gets leftovers, and I get choice specs, which is not good at all. So I go for the fire punch, knowing it could take out a lot of things on his team, and that takes out the Rotom, which is pretty good. I goes into Blaziken and I just fire punch that, knowing I could, uh, it'll kill it. And he's probably going to kill himself with Flare Blitz anyways. And thanks to the two bulk ups, I live that. So, uh, yeah, there's nothing I could do here, because I'm locked into fire punch. He goes into my low tick, and I was hoping he would, like, overpredict or something and go for the toxic, so I just go for the fire punch. But, nope. He just goes for the surf and kills me. So, yeah, that sucked. And, um... He gets some leftovers like every Melotic has, and 
Uh, I go into horror knowing he's he's gonna think I'm in a T bolt, but I'm just gonna just go for the substitute, which is pretty good for me. And now I'm just gonna start setting up some calm mines. So yay! As he's just gonna try to take keep keep on taking out my sub. And yeah, he gets a crit with the the substitute, but that didn't matter at all. I just go for one more sub. I don't know, just to see what he's gonna do this time. He goes for the stone edge and misses, which is really good for me, meaning I get to set up another combine. As he goes into the dreaded Reggie steel that screws me up every time I try to battle. So yeah, that doesn't do anything at all. Reggie steel should be OU. I go for the calm mind again, so I can get as much damage off on it with a T-bolt as I can. He iron heads me. Takes out my sub, obviously. And I just go for the T-bolt here, just to see how much that'll do. And it does absolutely nothing. But, what are you gonna do? So yeah, he just hits me in the, he just hits me in the stomach with his iron head and that doesn't kill me surprisingly and I didn't flinch so I was like yay so I go for the t-bolt and now that gets a crit but it doesn't kill it just my luck now he goes for the iron head and that'll kill me and I was like yay now I get to kill the registeel finally since it's at such low HP but as you'll see in a second that does not work as planned because nothing works as planned for me yeah so I go for the protect just to see what he's gonna do he goes for the iron head, and now I'm just going to go for the leech seed just so I could uh, get some HP off him. But, yeah, he goes for the iron head. Uh, my leech seed misses, and I was like, damn it! Whatever, I'll just get the next leech seed off. But he's gaining more and more HP after every turn, so yeah. Now he goes for the iron head, and I was like, alright. And I flinch. Just my luck, I flinch. And then... So I'm like, whatever, I'll just go for the Elite Seed again, and he Iron Heads, and I flinch, as he get, he's getting more leftovers, and more leftovers, and more leftovers, and I'm like, alright, I'm just going to go for it one more time, and he Iron Heads, and guess what, I flinch, and yeah, so that pretty much lost me the game there, and he just Iron Heads me one more time, and kills me, so yay, fail. And now there's nothing I could do. I could do. I c I can go into my dick pinch, and I can't earthquake it because I know he has one more uh, Pokemon with Levitate still on him. So I just go for the close combat to see if that'll kill it, and it surprisingly does, thanks to the uh, the choice band. But now my defense is uh, quite low, and he goes into jump bluff, and he's just gonna stun spore me, which doesn't miss, which always misses for me whenever I use it. But yeah, I, uh, I go for the close combat and just hurt that thing. But now he's just going to U-turn out and go into one of his other Pokemon and just kill me. So um, that was a good game. And uh, the next battle you'll see on this channel for next week's challenge, I'm going to start using a real team that will be a lot harder to get past. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Comment, rate, subscribe.